Hello everyone! Today, we'll have a new lesson about types of ROM or read-only memory. What is internal memory and how is it different from external memory? Computer memory is generally classified as either internal or external memory. To recall, internal memory, also called main or primary memory, refers to memory that stores small amounts of data that can be accessed quickly while the computer is running. External memory, also called secondary memory, refers to a storage device that can retain or store data persistently. They could be embedded or removable storage devices. Examples include hard disk or solid state drives, USB flash drives, and compact disk. What are the types of internal memory? There are basically two kinds of internal memory, the ROM and the RAM. What are the types of internal memory? First, the ROM. ROM stands for read-only memory. It is non-volatile, which means it can retain data even without power. It is used mainly to start or boot up a computer. And once the operating system is loaded, the computer uses RAM, which stands for random access memory, which temporarily stores data while the central processing unit or CPU is executing other tasks. With more RAM on the computer, the less the CPU has to read data from the external or secondary memory or storage device, allowing the computer to run faster. RAM is fast but it is volatile, which means it will not retain data if there is no power. It is therefore important to save data to the storage device before the system is turned off. Now, we are going to discuss what is ROM. Read-only memory, or ROM, it's non-volatile memory. The information stored in it is not lost even if the power supply goes off. It's used for the permanent storage of information. It also possesses random access property. Information cannot be written into a ROM by the users or programmers. In other words, the contents of ROMs are decided by the manufacturers. Read-only memory or ROM is an integrated circuit which is pre-programmed with specific functional data at manufacturing time. It is also called firmware. These ROMs are not limited to computers only. Most of the electronic gadgets utilize its flexible functionality. In this post, we will try to understand what is ROM, how it works, its types, applications, advantages, and disadvantages. Read-only memory is a type of electronic storage that comes built into a device during manufacturing. You will find ROM, chips in computers, and many other types of electronic products, such as VCRs, game consoles, and car radios all use ROM to complete their functions smoothly. ROM chips come built into an external unit like flash drives and other auxiliary memory devices or installed into the device's hardware on a removable chip. Non-volatile memory like ROM remains viable even without a power supply. How read-only memory or ROM works? A ROM operates like an array. ROM chips contain a grid of rows and columns to turn off or on. It uses a diode to connect the lines if the value is 1. If the value is 0, then these lines are not connected at all. Each element of the array corresponds to one storage element in the memory chip. The address input into the chip is employed to pick out a specific memory location corresponding to the array index. The value read from the memory chip 
corresponds to the contents of the selected element of the array. ROM consists of two basic components, decoder and OR case. In ROM, the input to decoder will be in binary form and output will be its decimal equivalent. All the OR gates present in the ROM will take decoders output as their input. Let's proceed to the types of ROM. ROM is the acronym for read-only memory. ROM is a type of primary memory as the name suggests its contents can be read only but cannot write on it. It is a non-volatile memory and so the data is retained even when the power switch off. The data that is required to be stored inside ROM is written during manufacturing phase. It stores such programs that are essential for the booting process of the computer. It generally cannot be altered. However, technologies are available to program these types of ROM. Now, let's discuss types of ROM for the basic understanding. Here's an overview of the different types of ROM, ranging from the most basic to more versatile. ROM is differentiated on the basis of methods used to write data on ROM chips and the number of times they can be written. It can be classified into following types. Mask read-only memory or MROM, programmable read-only memory or PROM, erasable programmable read-only memory or EPROM, electrically erasable programmable read-only memory or EEPROM, and flash read-only memory or flash ROM. Mask read-only memory or M ROM, it is a memory chip that is manufactured with its contents. These are inexpensive and are the very first ROM which were hardwired devices that contain a pre-programmed set of data or instructions. These chips contain a software mask that is burned onto the chip during design phase of the semiconductor manufacturing process. The specification of the ROM is taken by the manufacturer from its customer in the tabular form and in a particular format. The manufacturer then makes the corresponding mass for the parts to produce the desired output. Application of mass read and memory or MROM are used for network operating systems, server operating systems, storing phones for laser printers, and storing sound data in electronic musical instruments. The main advantage of mass read-only memory or MROM is its low production cost. The cost of IC depends on its size per bit. Mask ROM is more compact. It is significantly cheaper than any other kind of secondary memory when large quantities of same ROM are manufactured. Design errors are costly. For example, if an error in the code is detected, the MROM is useless and must be replaced in order to change the code. The life expectancy of MROM is also short, hence requires frequent replacement. That's the disadvantage of MROM. Next, the programmable read-only memory or PROM. PROM stands for programmable read-only memory. PROM is manufactured as a blank memory and as its name suggests, programmable. It is programmed after manufacturing the user buys a blank memory and enters the desired contents using a PROM program. The process of programming a PROM is called burning the PROM. There are tiny fuses in a PROM chip which are burned open during programming. The data can be programmed only once and cannot be altered, so it is called one-time programming device. The programmable ROM are used in mobile phones for providing user-specific selections, 
video game consoles, implantable medical devices, radio frequency identification or RFID tags, and high definition multimedia interfaces or HDMI. The D advantages of programmable ROM are the programming can be done using many types of software and does not rely on hard wiring of the program to the chip. And since it is not possible to unblow the fuse, so the authenticity of the data remains intact and it is impossible to remove or alter the contents. Well, the disadvantage of PROM is that the data once born cannot be erased or changed when detected with errors. Let's proceed to the erasable programmable with only memory or AP ROM. AP ROM stands for erasable programmable with only memory and it is non volatile memory. It can retain data even if the power supply is cut off. The basic limitation being encountered in PROM is that. Once it is programmed, it cannot be changed or altered. This limitation has been overcome by EPROM. EPROM can be erased by exposing it to ultraviolet light for a particular length of time using an EPROM eraser. After exposing, the chip returns to its initial state and can be reprogrammed. This procedure can be carried out many times but repeated erasing and rewriting can eventually render the chip useless. Once retained, the data can be retained for about 10 years. The applications of erasable programmable ROM includes as program storage chip in microcontrollers, for debugging, for program development, as BIOS chip in computers, as program storage in modem, video card, and many electronic gadgets, the advantages of erasable programmable ROM are it is non-volatile, it can be erased and reprogrammed, and it is cost-effective as compared to PROM. While the disadvantages of EPROM are the static power consumption is high as the transistors use have higher resistance. It is not possible for a particular byte to be erased Instead, the entire content is erased, and UV-based EPROM takes time to erase the content. Now let us discuss the electrically erasable programmable read only memory or EEPROM. EEPROM is the short form for electrically erasable programmable read only memory. It is similar to EPROM and thus developed to overcome the drawbacks of EPROM. It is erased and programmed electrically. It uses electrical signals instead of ultraviolet rays. The erasing and programming of data takes 4 to 10 milliseconds. Any byte can be erased at a time instead of the entire chip. The chip can be erased and reprogrammed for around 10,000 times though the process is flexible but slow. The applications of electrically erasable programmable ROM includes as BIOS chip in computers, as storage for reprogrammable calibration information test equipment, and as storage for inbuilt self-learning functionality in remote operated transmitters. The, uh, the advantages of EEPROM are the method of erasing is electrical and instant. Chip can be reprogrammed infinite number of times. By twice, data can be erased instead of entire content on the board. And to change the data, additional devices are not required. Well, the disadvantages of EEPROM are Different voltages are required for erasing, reading, and writing the data. The data retention period of EEPROM is limited to 10 years approximately, and EEPROM devices are expensive compared to others. And last type is the flash read only memory or flash ROM. 
It is a universal flash programming non-volatile utility used in computer as a storage medium. It can be electrically erased and reprogrammed. In this, memory blocks of data or 512 bytes can be deleted and written at a particular time. The application of flash read-only memory or flash ROM are the latest technology computers use BIOS stored on a flash memory chip called as flash BIOS. Modems, pen drives, small cards use flash ROM. The, the advantages of flash read-only memory are high transparency speed, it saves data when turns off, preserve its state without power, less prone to damage, and comparatively economical to other drives in small storage capacities. While the disadvantages of flash read-only memory or flash ROM, comparatively costly than hard disk, and number of read or writes are limited. So that's are the learnings for the type of ROM or read-only memory. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.